Welcome to Guns Gear Network everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. Today's video is about home blood type test kits. So in my opinion it is very important to know your blood type. So if you know the military obviously you've seen probably on their plate carriers places like that where they have their blood type in a some type of patch and um, I think that um, a lot of people maybe want that information but really didn't know how to get it or they didn't want to spend the money maybe going to the doctor, hospital, places like that. But they do make home test kits that are very accurate, just as accurate as you would see in um, a hospital setting. So, matter of fact, these are the same type kits that you'll see a lot of biological supply places, uh, medical supply places that supplies like medical schools, things like that. These are the exact same kits that they get. So. They take about 10 or 15 minutes total, uh, and you'll know your blood type pretty much after that, and you can um, uh, know it and uh, be able to uh, house that information. So I also think it's important that you know your family's blood type. Obviously, when we look at emergencies, car wrecks, things like that, and some people have real rare blood types that can be problematic. Uh, my wife has a real, real rare blood type, and um, that... Um, when she went through the pregnancy uh, with my son they had to actually special order blood to have on hand so that's how rare some of it can get mine is a little rare I'm B positive so um, but one thing that I didn't know was my son's and so I bought some of these test kits I've tried it out on myself earlier just to see if it was accurate and it was and I'm going to show you what the test kit looks like so what you're going to get is going to come in one of these little plastic bags here and then it's going to come this is the uh, actual blood typing card so be careful with this and I'll talk about that as we go you'll get a set of instructions and all the information about the kit and things like that and we'll talk about that here in a second you're going to get a lancet that actually uh, pricks your finger alcohol swab cotton ball this is a pipette and I'll talk about all this stuff individually here shortly and then a little uh, uh, piece of uh, paper here to uh, keep things uh, neat and clean and then these are here are the applicators for the blood itself so what you're going to do is you're going to open this first and if I got a weird cam camera angle the reason is is because I have my son that I need to be able to access him um, and that's why I've got it at a weird angle and I apologize so just take and cut along the edge make sure you don't cut the card and then pull the card out being careful not to touch any of these circles there's a reason and that's where you actually do the blood test so it actually has a place for your name address uh, stuff like that in here um, but if you want to keep this card on file you actually could and we'll I'll show you that here in a minute so what you're going to do is uh, I go ahead and get everything prepped and ready so this is the lancet and this has this little uh, safety trigger just go ahead and twist and pull that out like that so it's already done then this pipette go ahead and get I use um, either distilled water I don't know if this uh, regular tap water would have any negative effects on this um, but I use uh, either distilled or a uh, some type of um, filtered water and so you have that ready then you have your alcohol prep pad this right here is to clean your finger before you uh, prick it and pull that out All right, son, tell everybody hello in YouTube world. Hello. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is the best way to prick a finger is on your um, ring finger closest to your pinky. I don't know why that is, but it is. So just go ahead and clean that area just like that lay that there. So go ahead and take this after you clean that and let, while that's uh, drying on your finger go ahead and take one drop of water per circle do not touch the lancet to the circle hold it up above the circle and one drop in the very center and there's like a little colored piece you'll see it once you get your kit there's like a little colored area go ahead and just put one drop per circle alright then you take your lancet like this and you go ahead and massage the finger and before the person starts you can have them hold their finger or their hand down by their side it'll start pushing that blood down and just along this edge here you'll push push take the lancet like this and just pop it 
and just like that you'll start seeing the blood come out so what we're gonna do I'm gonna try getting all this on camera for you so you're gonna take one of these keep squeezing it and massaging it so the blood uh, don't stop and this may take a few minutes guys so just be patient with us with the video and then touch it to the middle of the circle like that or to the side don't use use a new one for every control so keep squeezing because if not it will stop bleeding and it'll dry up it'll um, and it'll, you'll have to start the test over and you once you pop this thing uh, and get everything started and wet everything you've got about 10 minutes total to make sure you get it all done or your test will not be valid you don't need a whole lot of blood like I said just keep squeezing and I keep these lined up where I know where they came from in case I need just a little more blood for some reason on the test I will post in the section below where I got these on Amazon. You can buy them kind of one at a time, three at a time. I bought I think three or I think three or four in this batch that I ordered, so I could do a couple tests just to see how to test, you know, how it did before I got it on camera, and then maybe um, be able to do me, myself, my wife, and all that. All right, so I've got them all, and you'll take each one. Make sure you're keeping them separate, which ones you're using, and start spreading that around like that. And then take this one, spread it around like this. Take this one and spread it around all around the out the whole circle take this one like I said that's why I keep up with where they're at alright so once you get them all like that pick it up and start turning it for a few seconds down this way and then turn it sideways like that roll it around all right so you're already seeing some coagul coagulation here and here none here and there so we're starting to get results already this one is actually doing it a little bit see I can go back and I might can even put a little more blood here kind of go around with it again just to make sure All right, so then you're going to let this sit here and dry uh, for about 10 minutes. Now, I can already tell you pretty much what the results is. And I'm going to show you mine that, so I don't have to pick this one up again. If you look, you have what it looks like. These are kind of real spotty, and these are more just kind of there. I mean, yeah, you can. they're not spotty like these. You can obviously see a difference. So let me show you. 
what you have here. You have, on this piece of paper, it tells you exactly what to look for. So like on mine, the two center ones are the ones that are real splotchy looking and the two outer ones are not splotchy. So that means B positive. So if you go down, that right there would be B positive right there. All right, so on his, I can already tell you he has three that are splotchy and then one solid on the end. So with his, I can already tell you he is A, B is what his blood type is, just by doing that. So his has three kind of splotchies and one solid, and then that means his is A, B. Mine, if you go down, there's O, A, it obviously doesn't match with O because it's two solids, um, then a splotchy and then a solid doesn't match. Splotchy, solid, splotchy, solid doesn't match. Solid, splotchy, splotchy, solid, and there it matches. So, there you go, guys. So, if you're wanting to know your blood type, and I highly recommend that you do, that way you can, um, you know, buy you some, some of those patches or whatever, put it on your kit, put it on your gear. Uh, again, let these dry real good. You can use the bag that it came in. Matter of fact, you can take this and just slide it back into this full Mylar bag here and then slide it all into here and then uh, you'll know that you've done your test kit and everything is complete and then that way you'll have a record in case you need to know that information in a hurry. But anyway guys, um, I just wanted to bring you this little informational kit about how to blood type. I know that's uh, kind of, everybody's kind of wondered that or how do you do it or how do you get it and uh, they see the tactical guys with the AB positive or the O negative and stuff like that on their um, plate carriers. Well, this is the way you can do uh, the high-speed operator look uh, and be accurate about it without uh, being a fake. <laughs> so you'll know exactly what your blood type is, which I highly recommend um, to do that. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you got any questions, post those below. Just follow the directions like I told you. If you have any specific questions, you're more than welcome to ask post those in the section below also in the section below i will post where i got these on amazon and then you can order your own and do your own testing anyway guys appreciate you tuning in as always if you like our videos give us the thumbs up it's down there in that section also share our content it's over in that section and uh, appreciate you tuning in tonight as always like share and subscribe bring another video shortly have a great day guys